Hi everyone, welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for joining us for a few moments of God's Word and prayer. Why me, Lord? And I'm sure most of us have asked this question. Let's look at Psalms 103, verses 8 to 12. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will He harbour His anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is His love for those who fear Him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has He removed our transgressions from us. You know, if we are honest, We've all probably voiced or thought that question at some point in our lives. Why me, Lord? Especially during times of extreme pressure or pain. Over 3,000 years ago, a man named Job asked God the same question during a time of personal tragedy and suffering. The Lord answered by showing him that God's ways are higher than human ways. How can a good and all-powerful God allow suffering? The question is often asked these days, especially when news revolves around suffering of the innocent or seemingly good people going through challenging times. In the first wave, Job lost all his children and all his possessions. The second wave, Suffering attacked Job's body with painful afflictions. He was covered with boils. His skin was crusty and it oozed serum that attracted worms. There was no relief from his fever and intense pain. When God allowed his servant to suffer, he had more in mind just than just an assessment of Job's faith. He also wanted to develop Job's faith. Even though Job didn't renounce God through this ordeal, he did raise questions. Job couldn't understand why God was letting him go through all of this. Did God really know what he was doing? And the Lord spoke using a series of questions. God gave Job a small glimpse of his infinite knowledge and wisdom and power. Job's response was beautiful and it was evidence of a great step forward in his faith. Job recognized his insignificance and his ignorance. He retracted his former why me statements and he repented for his wrong attitude. He realized that the Lord was in control of everything and, sub and he humbly submitted to God while waiting for further instruction. As we come to understand and appreciate God's answers for our lives, we will experience the blessings of God in our lives forever. God wants to develop our faith too. Although asking, why me, Lord, is not wrong, it's a sign of immaturity. Questioning God's ways with the attitude that God is unfair or uninformed shows the basic sin of pride. The last chapter of Job shows the happy scene of Job's restoration. Job 42 and verse 10 says, The Lord restored his fortune and gave him twice as much as he had before. God's purposes through suffering were accomplished in Job's life, and in the end, he was greatly blessed. Psalmist declares, God does not treat us as our sins deserve. Instead, God paid the price for our sin. Even in our difficult situations, we can say, for I know my Redeemer lives. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your promises, Lord. Help us as your children 
to hold fast on your word and your promises. Thank you that you will always empower us. You will always build our faith, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.